So the uh, postcode uh, structure in the UK is shown schematically here. The country is divided into these various postal zones, which are labelled by letters. Uh, here's London down here with a bit more substructure. And as I'm sure you're aware, uh, 2009 was the 50th anniversary of the postcode. Um, this wasn't something that seemed to be greatly publicised, but uh, uh, 1959 was the invention of the postcode, and here are some uh, letter stamps of the last year, all at Norwich, because Norwich and this particular post office was the one where the very first letter was sent using the postcode system. So uh, it just goes to show how interesting the world of postcodes can be. Well, uh, an interesting type of question to ask about postcodes. Um, we're using numbers, we're using letters, we're familiar with the idea that sometimes I bought a new rail card uh, recently and on the back it just asked me to write my house number and my postcode. Uh, and the point of uh, these things here, code it, keep it, blah, 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 get the most from your postcode, uh, it's wanting people to write their postcodes on pieces of property uh, because it can almost identify you. If you put the house number uh, and the postcode, then things will get back to you. So let's ask, you know, are there really enough postcodes? How many postcodes are there? Um, how many of these labels that uh, governments and organizations want to create are there? Well, what's the pattern of the postcode? Uh, it's letter, letter, number, number, letter, letter. So where I grew up, it was HAO, 4SJ. How many are there with this pattern? Suppose we don't add anything extra. Well, you've got 26 letters. They're all independently chosen. Could be uh, 26 times 10 times 10 times 26 times 26. In practice, the letters are not chosen completely arbitrary. So in Cambridge, it's CB in order to give you some information about Cambridge. But it didn't have to be if you needed more alternatives. So you've got about just over 45 and a half million permutations, if you work that number out. What's the UK population? It's about 60.5 million, when I last counted. <laughs> but uh, what really matters is how many households are there. And, you know, working out the average number of people plus half a child and all this sort of stuff, uh, you're looking at about 26 and a quarter million households. By 2020, supposedly it's going to be about 28 and a half million. So this is the rate of increase over 10 years or so. So you can see that there's not enough postcodes to have one each, but there's easily enough to have one per household with this type of formula. But if you wanted to have a postcode system that was worldwide, uh, you'd need to add another letter or substitute one of the numbers for a letter. The nearest that we have to a personal identity number, if we're an adult over 16, a thing that could, in principle, coordinate, if it were legally permitted, every piece of official information about us, whether it's in the tax authorities or the NHS or the electoral roll or whatever, uh, is our national insurance number. And how many of those are there? The pattern, again, uh, I think for almost all of them is letter, letter, uh, and then six numbers, and then another letter. So if you look at the number of possibilities there, you're looking at a little more than 17.5 billion. The population of the world at the moment is not quite 6.7 billion. So there's enough UK national insurance numbers uh, for twice the world's population, nearly three times the world's population. So... Um, they're insuring against a very large number of possibilities that are required in the future. So you get a feel here for the difference it really makes in using letters rather than numbers.